Neil presents the P3's audio and video playback performance. Hi, today we're going to talk about the Samsung P3, some of the features on it for audio and video. Um, got a lot more file types of supported on the P3 than on the iPod, Sony Walkman, or the Creative Zen. Also, it's got a lot of cool features like um, high quality sound effects. You have DNSC, you've got repetitive playback on it, and you can also change the play speed. So you can make us like whatever you're listening to faster or slower. Let's take a look at some of the file types we got on here. Okay, first thing we're talking about is audio files on the P3. Uh, first one we're going to talk about too is MP3 files. This supports up to 320 kbps. MP3 files, it's really good uh, quality, like CD quality. Now if you want to listen to like less than that or like it's a smaller file, you can use 192 kbps. It's okay. I don't really recommend you use 128 or below though. It's not very good quality. We go into the file browser. We can go ahead and pick what type of file we want to listen to. Let's see the top it says what kind of file we're listening to. Okay. Alright, next we're talking about is OGG. Uh, OGG file format, you're not going to find that on the iPod. Um, they like the iPods look really nice and shiny with like cover flow and stuff, but uh, how often do you actually spend looking at your MP3 player usually listening to it, so you're going to want really high quality sound. That's where OGG comes in. Uh, it's better than MP3 quality. Let's take a listen to it. Let me see at the top again, it shows the file type we're listening to. Let me go back out. Alright, next we're going to talk about AAC files. Um, AAC quality is poorer than an MP3 when coded by uh, the Lame Encoder. It's not really it's like a, not a good file format. Um, if you do want to use it, and you do import your music from iTunes, you can go ahead and use that on the P3 if you want to. Uh, I don't know why you do that, they use Apple Lossless and you're not going to lose any quality on it. Let's listen to how that sounds. Okay. And the last one we're going to talk about is FLAC format. FLAC is um, by far the best quality we've got right now. It's really nice sounding. Um, it is a huge file though. Not huge, but it's pretty big. It's similar to a, a WAV file. But if you really care about the quality of your music, you don't really care about how much space it takes up. So let's take a listen to an FLAC. Now we're talking about some of the video features here on the P3. Uh, the P3 now supports H.264 file format, so that's iPod and PSP videos you can go ahead and play on here. Also, if you have a podcast, MP4 video podcast, you can go ahead and download that, copy the file over to your P3 video folder, and then you can go ahead and watch it straight on your P3, so you don't have to worry about just using the iPod for that. You can use the P3. Also, it supports WMV9, MPEG4, ASF, and RMVB files, so you have a lot of different video files you can watch on here. And there's a new uh, screen on here, the new LCD, so there's no after image problem. You don't have to worry about having that um, like we had in the P2. So if you're watching a video, you always get really high quality. And then someone put a comment on the site saying that uh, I only see the high points of the products. But if you compare it to some of the other products out there, um, battery, life, memory, also design, quality, features, functions, and the different file types it will play, the Samsung products usually go above what most of the products have going on for them. So that's why you just say the high points. If there are low points, I will go ahead and say those too. But uh, let's take a look at the different video files we got on here. See how it looks. Now let's take a look at some of the different file formats we've got here on the P3. So first we're going to take a look at the WMV9 file. It's a real nice looking video. This is a basic uh, feature here on the P3.
Okay. Let's go back out. Next we're going to talk about is the H264. The H264 file I got in here, um, I downloaded that. It's a high definition preset for the iPod Touch here, but I can go ahead and use it with the P3. Let's see, real nice looking video. Okay, I'll show you another cool feature on the P3. We got this open. Go ahead and we'll play at the play speed. I slowed it down a lot there. Now the video's gonna run a lot slower. Okay, now let's speed it up a little bit. Move it up all the way to the top. See now the play speed's running faster than it than the video is. It's real nice if you're trying to uh, like study a foreign language or something or something you really don't understand. You can slow down the video. Let's turn it back to normal. Okay. Head back out of there. Okay. Now we're gonna take a look at the the DivX. Now with the DivX, um, the file shrunk to 480 by 272 exclusively for the P3. Since DivX uses MPEG-4 codec, um, it's completely available for the P3. It goes and runs on here. Uh, specifically, it's uh, made by the XVID codec, and the SVI is also using an MPEG codec right now, or MPEG-4 codec. Let's take a look at how the DivX plays. Okay. Go back out. Okay, it also plays ASF files. Um, that's like an older kind of file type. It's pretty old now. It's part of the Windows Media Framework. It's optimized for streaming, but um, it's kind of like the mother of WMV format. The quality is not good since it's kind of old. And also, because this is the the beta firmware, I can't show you the RMVB. Um, it'll be on the next next one though. Uh, when you're using the internet, you'll see like a real media file, and you can't play it on your computer if you don't have real media player. Well, if you don't have the real media player, you can go and just put it right on the P3, and then you can watch it uh, on your P3 even if it won't play on your computer. So that's uh, pretty much all we have today for the Samsung P3. Till next time, see you later.